Autodesk Simulation Mechanical provides digital prototyping technology for validating your designs. Let's take a look at an example using an industrial machine made by Osgood, a leader in building innovative machinery for filling several consumable products in various containers. Here you can see a structure that's used to support a large force due to placing the lid foils on each cup. First, we want to determine the stress and displacement after the pressure has been applied. Then we're also interested in the life of the equipment. We know that this machine produces thousands of cups per day. Fatigue studies will help us to determine how many times our design can be used before we begin to see cracks form in areas of concern. As you can see, the level of detail will help us to focus on areas of the design that need attention. Let's begin by setting up a new linear static study. We'll add fixed constraints where the support is attached to the columns in the main assembly. We also need the force that is applied when the lid is pressed on the yogurt cups with significant heat and pressure. Once the study has been run, we can take a look at the results for high concentrations of stress. Our maximum stress is 136 megapascals, which passes for a single load, but what happens if we apply the load thousands of times per day? Autodesk Simulation Mechanical provides an easy-to-use wizard that will walk you through step-by-step. Step. There are several predefined fatigue curves to choose from, as well as the ability to apply your own. Surface finishes can be selected for high-fidelity results. And here we'll use a simple constant amplitude load and unload. These load conditions can be entered manually or open from previous studies. Our goal in this case is to reach at least 1 million load cycles. It looks like our model has passed by a small margin. Let's take a look at a life cycle plot to view areas that are showing signs of fatigue. We know that engineering is all about change. We'll find out if a simple modification will provide infinite life for this design. The changes that we make in Inventor are immediately available in Simulation Mechanical. Here we'll add a quarter inch to the diameter of the main support. Then we can jump back into our analysis. After running the linear static study, we can then use the fatigue wizard once again to find out if the change to the diameter was a success. We can see that this quick change was enough to provide infinite life for the applied load. This information is critical to Osgood in order to reduce warranty issues. Normally, this can take several days to set up and run a physical prototype for fatigue. It can be done in minutes using Autodesk Simulation Mechanical.